Okay, so in this talking technique, I'm mainly doing this for one little gem that happens later on in the video that I thought was noteworthy. But uh, until then, what I'm doing here is I'm using these purples uh, and I'm going to almost overuse them in all of these uh, flowers and then, you know, the roses, a lot of the petals. The selection, I'm using uh, hero pencils and the selection of purple was fair at best. And I wanted to purposely, I wanted to see how far I could stretch those violets out. I had, you know, it had some deep, rich violets. Uh, it looked like maybe a true purple. And then the rest kind of went into a mauve and it went into um, uh, some pinks. So I, I wanted to really pop those out and see, again, how far can I stretch this purple palette? Tell you what if you've never messed around with this brown or this tone paper you need to give it a try it's a lot of fun uh, you'd be surprised the different your pencils look on top of this tone paper uh, it, it's almost like using a, a brand new set of colors i absolutely love them you have sets you know like faber castle black edition or uh, faber castle's uh, super soft which is designed to color on this type of paper but i like using just regular color pencils uh, uh, be it oil or wax base they just have such a beautiful look on the tone paper and the, the one one of the downsides is this type of paper has very little tooth to it so you do have to adjust yourself to how these pencils are going to perform Okay, so the parts coming up that the this entire video is about, uh, I'm gonna color in a leaf here and the entire thing, it's, I colored in purple. When I should have left a little area, you know, I do leaves a certain way where I bridge them and then, then do the tip. But for whatever reason, I did this first leaf solid. So I had to go back with the eraser and erase out the part that I wanted, which I got lucky and it pulled up the color just enough. And then I filled it in with white. And when blending it, it gave it this really cool look. You could see how this petal is different than, than the other ones. And frankly, I kind of liked it more. It was completely a happy mistake. And I'm actually going to use this mistake later uh, when I start doing other petals. Also, to be completely transparent, all I see when I look at the center of those flowers are blueberry muffins. Now you're, you're seeing blueberry muffins too, aren't you?
here we go. So on these pedals, I'm actually, if you look up, you could see the one I messed up on earlier. I'm actually leaving the gap where the white's gonna go all the way around from the tip of the pedal to the side of the pedal. And it just gives it a, a really nice look. It gives it so much more depth. I'm gonna do it here too with this uh, golden brown pedal. Uh, where normally I would take the color and I would bring it almost all the way to the tip and then just add a little bit of white. I'm, I'm leaving the whole border white and then I'm gonna connect it through the middle. And I don't know what it is about it. I, I think maybe it just gives it a little more uh, reflection, a little more depth, but it, there's something about this look that just gives them a, a, a almost like a silky or like a suede look. I'm really happy that I was able to take a, a mistake that I did and turn it into something I'm probably gonna use more often now. I knew I wanted my cat to be gray. I just thought it would really um, accent a lot of the uh, rich, deep purples that I was using. But the Hero set didn't have an ideal set of grays to choose from. So what I ended up doing is going with a really washed out blue, almost like a slate blue, and mix that in with the gray. And it kind of gave it the illusion uh, that it was just... A, a, a silky like a silver gray cat and I, I really liked how that turned out and I, it ended up working out to my advantage because I think because of that with the blues that are in the petals and the leaves I think it accents the uh, blue look that's in his fur you'll find a lot of times if you do go uh, a little out of your range uh, it it, it still works. Like if you if you reach from a red, if you want to darken your red to use a brown, by the time you mix it in, that brown looks like it's a dark red. And this happens with many colors. And again, right here, you could see kind of how it worked out in my advantage uh, with this, this bluish gray. Sugar, so guys, so little. 